What's up, everybody? Um, in this walkthrough, I'm just going to show you something basic. Uh, how to clean the floor when you uh, do photo shoots in the studio and you have the scuff marks on the floor that gets on your nerves. Um, it's numerous ways to clean the floor. I'm going to show you the method that I use. There's no wrong method. You know, in Photoshop, you can do tons of different ways. Uh, Shout out to my girl Val right here from Bad Girls Club Season 10. I'll be using her image to basically show you. Um, this is something I shot a few weeks ago. But either way, let's get on to what we're doing. I'm not going to take you through the full retouch, just the floor editing portion. Um, so basically, um, you can start this whenever you want. I will be using this from the layer that I'm at. So you want to use your main layer, which will be right here at this point and you want to clone it um command j on mac i don't know what it is on pc i don't use a pc but if you didn't have a mac you could also go right click and um, duplicate layer all right so let's just do that let's name this layer floor um let's go to filter blur surface blur uh, make sure your settings are on these settings here. They have always worked for me with every studio image. 34 radius threshold at 50. Click OK. And it's going to take a while uh, to do this. This is a very large image also. So, so I'm going to pause it and come back after it's done. This is the result you get. Um, of course, we don't want this as an end result. But as you can see, the floor is a lot cleaner and it's gone. The um, marks on the floor are gone. So from here, what I would do is add a layer mask to this image, grab my brush at 100%, and basically paint in over the area that I want to get the scuff marks out of. And as you can see, while you're looking, voila, booyah, scuff marks, gone baby. No cloning and no, you know, doing all of that patching and shit. Just an easy brush to get this process to work. Now, I'm going to show you something else after we finish this part. Be sure not to uh, touch the skin or the uh, shoe or arm of the subject, the model, or whatever you shot. Well, I'm assuming it's a model if it's going to be scuff marks on the floor. But, <clears throat> bang, there you go. So, you can look at the before we did this and the after to see the results. Uh, one more tip I'm going to give you, um, because when you do that, it also takes away a lot of the detail of the shadow from the model. And me personally, I don't like that. I like it to be the way it should be. So I would make a new layer, brush, I say about 10% and darken over the area where the shadow was once was. The natural real shadow. Um, then I would take the blur, Gaussian blur. and start to move it so it works on what it should be. And change the op uh, opacity down to what works for you. And in this case, I'll probably leave it about 39%. But that's changing different depending on what you're using it for. But that's about it. Um, from there, we got the image done. We got the result we needed. 
And um, we done. It's your boy E. Signing out. Love is love photography. Make sure you check me out. More work. Loveislove.com. That's L-O-V-I-S-L-O-V.com. I'll let you later.